Hey guys, so I wanted to clean out Peep's tank. Peep is my solitary mouse. If you want to know why she's solitary and all of that, I will have a video linked below. I just wanted to show you guys some things that you can do to make your mouse cage fun and interesting and exciting for your mouse. Maybe asking yourself, what the hell is this? Things that are used to um, package things that are made of cardboard or paper are fantastic. I'm so excited. I have two of these and I'm going to do a couple of fun things with them for Peep. This is a bird toy. I don't know what to call it. A chain. Bird toys are so awesome for mice. It's a section I never thought to look in when I started having small animals, but now I take a look almost every time. This is a pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner is fantastic for um, hanging things attaching them to your mouse's cage. Speaking of birds, this is a bird nest. This I actually found at the dollar store because the dollar store gets things like overstock from other stores, so I'm not actually sure which one, which store this came from. Someone was asking me if mice burrow, and they really don't burrow, not in my experience, not the way like hamsters do, like make underground tunnels and underground dens. They're really more of nest makers, so anything you give them to encourage that behavior, um, they just, they get so happy. Another bird thing, this is just a plastic ladder and I have a really hard time finding things that are plastic from the bird section and uh, finding ladders specifically that are not made of wood. While you can use wood things for your mice, they pee on everything um, and when they pee on the wood it just soaks in there and no matter what you do, it just, it really stinks. So I try to keep as many things in my mouse cage plastic as possible because they're easily cleaned. Another bird thing that is awesome for mice, I highly recommend, are these bird perches. I hang them with pipe cleaners uh, to the roof of the tank. This is what remains of this kind of weird wall I created for Peep. Um, I made a video about what she did to it. I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Like this. <laughs> okay, so this is a thing from the dollar store. I strongly encourage you to go to your local dollar stores to look for things for your mice. Artificial grass. <laughs> it's the most fake looking grass you've ever seen in your life. The reason I got it initially was because of this grid on the back. Most mice are climbers. That's like their favorite thing. Making nests and climbing. What she ended up doing was chewing all of it off <laughs> over time. So it's actually been like a boredom reliever for her because she not only climbs on it, she destroys it. So I'm gonna keep this grid for her to climb on, but I also got her another one of these so she can destroy another one. So another example of things from the dollar store, these are stacked, they're like seed starters, I think they're called. So you put, you know, dirt and a little seed in there and you start your plant. Um, but these are made of cardboard, so they're perfectly safe for mice. So they're fun to chew on, sit in. I usually open the back, so it, it acts kind of like a toilet paper roll. Another example of things that you may come across, um, this is like a cup uh, holder from like a fast food place. The thing is, anything excites mice, and mice you will find are very creative. So you can give them what to you looks like the most boring thing, and give it to them and they will just have a ball with it. Uh, another thing is uh, egg cartons. I don't have any right now, but egg cartons are fantastic toys. This is something I did get from the small animal section. It's cardboard uh, with all these tunnels in it. Something not a lot of people think of is, hey, I almost said grass because it said orchard grass. Not that they'll die if they don't get this, but it is very important. It's fantastic for their digestion, uh, but mice also use this to make nests. So if you can find like, if you're just using this for mice, you just need a teeny tiny bag. I got this months and months ago and I haven't even got like maybe a quarter through it. It may not occur to you to put rocks in your mouse cage, but I highly suggest them. It helps keep their nails trimmed because clipping a mouse's nails is impossible. <laughs> And their nails don't stop growing just like ours, but um, because they're not in a natural environment, the claws aren't getting naturally worn down. So a way to help with that is to provide rocks. And I usually make sure there's at least one rock underneath where their water bottle is so that every time they have to take a drink, they have to stand on the rock. We've got the one grid here. The hanging nest is there with the tunnel system behind. There's rocks underneath the water bottle. There's hay over there. She's got her ladder. Her food bowl is back there behind the ladder. 
her wheel, her hide, their leaf wall is behind the wheel, can't really see it. And here at the front is one of the mm, cardboard thing, and it's just hung so that it's another thing to climb on. And the other one is like vertical because there's holes in it, she can like climb up in the holes. Oh, also do not skimp out on Kleenex, tissue paper, tissues, stuff like that. Um, I put some in this hide and in this nest. Mice are so smart, so the more things you can provide them with to keep them entertained, the better. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos. We'll see you in my next video. When I first started having mice, I didn't really know. <laughs> that was annoying.